Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we'll be doing a reaction between pyrite, iron pyrite. Can you see it? Yeah, it's iron pyrite, fool's gold, that's what it's also known as, and chert, which is also known as flint. And this reaction is called napping, and napping will create a spark. So if you're ever in nature, and you need to make a, a fire, and you have some dry grass, some dry wood or whatever, some dry paper, you can just uh, use these two, you know, flint and chert, and iron pyrite, and using this technique, create a fire. So this is how it's done. Um, well, basically, I'll show, I'll show you first like this. So you you take a, give me a second. Right, so you take the chert or flint and you take the pyrite and how it works is you want to use the sharper edges on the pyrite, you know, the, the sharper angles to horizontally, you know, parallel strike uh, the flat part of the flint. Don't use the flat part of the pyrite, that will not produce a reaction. So you just um, find on your pyrite, I mean on your chert, a uh, relatively flat surface, we'll use this one, and we'll use the uh, sharper edges of the pyrite, and well, you have to be hard about it, like that. So to show you how it works, I'll turn off the light, and, and uh, just uh, So you can see some of the some of the uh, you saw some of the you know f sparks at least I did uh, and, and your fingers will get covered in ash because and actually the, the air smells like uh, fire now because it's a combustion reaction and yeah this is all ash and if you look if you look at the uh, some of them will break off, you know, it's unfortunate, but these are not very hard rocks and pieces of them will break off. So eventually you're going to need to get new pyrite and new, you know, shirt or flint. So some of the, here's a piece of the flint that broke off, piece of the pyrite that broke off. So anyway, yeah, that's how you do it. And uh, if you have any questions about this process or how to do it in nature or whatever, you know, just uh, subscribe and you know, you message me or whatever. So yeah, that's it.